Hello, YouTube. Hello. I find your audio is a little low. I'm going to turn you up. Ah, uh, yeah, no problem. Okay. Welcome to King's Quest V. I can't hear the game. Yeah, neither can I. Sorry, two seconds. Okay, I'm actually going to wash my hands up right back. Yeah, no problem. Oh. Yeah, I see. Have you previously played King's Quest V? I have, in fact. Oh, wait, no. Warning. This cartoon contains material that may be necessary for information or clues to complete this game. Please be sure to check your inventory if you decide to skip. I will, in fact, watch it. Normally I wouldn't, but it's a quick through, so I pretty much need to. Oh look, it's a big scary dude. Oh yeah, in case you couldn't tell, the graphics are way, way, way better. Know what is happening to the castle? It's gone. Oh, look, it's King Graham. Remember King Graham? You guys probably remember King Graham. saw the whole thing. Now where is it? Ooh, I know I brought it with 
Okay, I'm back. Oh, excuse me for saying that, but you don't have a choice. Everyone's favorite owl. You must come with me. I'm sure Crispin can help you. Yeah, sure. Sorry, the Wizard of Oz was on downstairs and I got a little distracted by it. It was just at the part when Dorothy met the Tin Man. Well, I kind of got bored of the munchkins. Yeah. It's a good movie, though. Do you know that movie's over 80 years old? It'll help you to fly. Ooh. You can follow me to the land of Serenia, where Crispin and I live. Oh, I don't like what the look of that fairy dust, Graham. Oh, I think the fairy dust is still good. You think? You think? Um, no, don't trust the owl. He said, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know about that, Graham. I don't oh, like the look oh, of those yeah. gypsies. It is at this exact point that, um... That, uh, whatever the heck. He fell because it was completely out of date. Dun, 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 dun. I thought that Daventry was, you know, a planet. Yes, not that. I guess the universe was restructured. On the other hand, you're able to enter uh, through Daventry and King's Quest 3 through mm -hmm. on top of the mountains. Don't know exactly how that works, but whatever. The universe was restructured, like I said. Here, here. Come on. Okay. Here I come. Yes, I told you. You see, it's out of date. There's that thing in front of uh, Crispin's house, and apparently it will, like, realign the universe. So maybe something like that happened. Splash. You are so very lucky. Ooh, looks like the fairy dust just wore off. Could have landed on the rock. Not even an are you okay, Greg. Where have you been? I've been calling for you. Um... Well, well. What have we here? Get off my lawn! A bit clumsy, are you? Well, come on in the house. You don't even sound off. old, no Kristen. No around like a wet dog. And seriously, okay? I can get that your voice actors were just Sierra employees. Yeah. That I mean, but it's a little better. They couldn't afford real actors until the next game. Cedric sounds terrible like he should. Graham sounds normal as he should. Actually, I don't mind Cedric's voice. It's sort of... It's sort of like... Something you think of with fondness when you think of this game. The Society of Wizards is always Kick taking me a out. new viewer, Mordak, and his abuse of his power. Why, he's even been put on suspension a few times. It never seems to do any good, though. Christmas, why is it the suspension for Mordak? Mordak want to take my family or castle? What did we ever do to him? I'm afraid I don't know the answer to that. Mordak is a very unpredictable wizard. Wouldn't he know that Bananan is his brother? That was a terrible idea. See, now, I used to be a very powerful wizard at one time, you know. But I got a But then I stopped rusty. exercising. <laughs> you are a little rusty. That's quite enough from you, Cedric. Oh, yes, sir, Chris. Sorry. I don't know what I have that would be of much use to you. Most of my wizard stuff is pretty old and worn out. Let's see what I can find. A little faster, Crispin. Oh, it's so hard to move when you're 900 years old. Just a little further. 
Dude, you look like a Fens monk from Conquest of the Longbow. That game hadn't been made yet. Well, I was trying to hide that from the police. It might work. Here, eat this. Pure cocaine. That? That's an old piece of magical white snake I had left over from last year. With it, you'll be able to communicate with the natural and animal world. You should find that quite helpful. Despite the fact that he could do that in King's Quest 2 way easily. Here's my old wand. I don't even know if it works anymore. Most of its power may be gone. You should know that wands are like pets. They got to get to know you before they'll work for you. And they'll poo all over your hand. Care and respect. And hopefully it will do something for you. You'd better get going, my boy. No telling what that compounded Morag could be up to. You go with him, Cedric. Show him the way. Ooh. Now get out of here. Yes. I'm late for my nap. Such a coward. Now go on. You'd better get started. But that's Cedric's entire character. Mm -hmm. He is a coward. All you've done for me. In fact, I'm convinced that Cedric uh, wrote the bios for uh, the King's Quest 6 manual because mm -hmm. every time it mentions that Cedric was along with Graham during mm -hmm. times that he most obviously wasn't. Mm -hmm. Finally, I can do stuff. Well, I suggest we visit the town first. How about it, Your Majesty? Please don't call me Your Majesty, Cedric. It's much too formal. I'd like it if you'd just call me Graham. Hey, stupid. Why be like me too, Graham? Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, yes, the town. You might be able to find some supplies there. It's just over a little hill to the south, not too far. Well then, let's be on our way, Cedric. Cedric, I'm far too lazy to go that way. Yes, why doesn't it just put speed all the way to the top? Like, that's the only... Actually, oh, no, house. detail I'll put up as well, since I want this to be the full experience. Don't be wasting your time coming in here. Young man, I've done all I can for you. Now it's up to you. Well... Anyway, I'm not going to be here for a little while. There's an emergency I have to attend to in a neighboring land. I'll try to keep an eye out for you, but this is something you and Cedric are going to have to do yourselves. I wish you the best, King Graham. I appreciate all you've done, Crispin. I'll be on my way now. Don't come Quite back. obviously, with 256 colors at the, their disposal, everything is a lot better. That's great universe yep. interpreter. But be careful, you might accidentally realign the stars. Oh, God. See, that's what I told you. Maybe the whole universe got restructured from that machine, or from, them, from that device. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> let's see. Let's just, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, this <coughs> Watch out! A poisonous snake! A poisonous snake! Graham, watch out! A poisonous tree branch! Watch out for their poisonous town! Dog. Hey, are you going to get the poisonous fish? I can't hear him because the music is too loud. Thank you kindly, but I think I can handle that. All right then. Good luck. Fun fact, the wagon exists for one reason Wait. alone, to stop you from going north. Did you get the fish? Lending 
So he said, we can't hear them, the music is too loud. What do the townspeople think when they... What do the townspeople think when they see Graham, like, taking dead fish from barrels? Here's a question. Why is... Uh, so let's see, this is a bakery, apparently? Yep. It's the bakehouse. Baker Bros. Bakehouse. <clears throat> Baker Bros. Confirmed. Crazy Bobby's Bakery Extravaganza. This is Roberta Williams making a cameo. Look, it's Roberta Williams. Hey, can you turn the music down? Because, like, the, um, it's too loud and you can't hear what they're saying. Oh, Mom. They were just made breakfast this morning. There you go. I hate it. Let's go home, Austin. Let's go home. What's your name? My name is Austin. I'm here with my mama. We're buying a pie for dinner That's nice. The kid's enunciating a little too much. Okay, madam. That pie looks awfully good. Oh, yes. My family will enjoy it. I'm sure. By Roberta Williams. Except the cat. The cat doesn't look very friendly at all. Yeah, it chases a rat later on in the game. Hey, what? can you, like, please, um, lower the music? Because it's too loud. Here's the last of the pies. Work harder. Welcome to our bakehouse, Trevor. Of course, all of our wares are wonderful, but today we've got a special on custard pie. Just one silver coin each, but take your time. Let me know when you're ready. I will. Everything looks so delicious, it's hard to decide what to buy. <laughs> Everybody has that problem, but what a problem to have. Those custard pies look most delicious. Yes, they're made from a recipe handed down from our dear mama and her mama before her. Hmm, it's still hard to decide, though. Well... Take your time, there's no hurry. Can you please, like, lower the music? Because it's too loud. Oh, yeah, sure. And I can't hear what they're saying. Like, I can, I can, I cannot hear the, the dialogue because the music is so loud. That's better? Uh, yeah, I think so. Let's find out. Sir, I would like oh, to yeah, that's one better. of your custard pies. These pies cost one silver coin each. I've got it right here. Here you go. I hope you enjoy your custard pie. Oh, I'm sure I will. A Yeti won't, though. I'm gonna feed it to a Yeti. So, you know, I give... Oh, look, an inn. Maybe I'll go in. Do not go in there. Maybe they have some nice, some... Nope. Beds. Nope. Don't do that. Maybe. Nope. Ah, it's a bear. Throw the fish. Oh, the bear, Graham? I am just so nice to the bear. You know, I give him no, 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 his no, no, favorite no, no. fish. Whoa. <clears throat> I'm Queen Beatrice, time setter. Well, get it, I Beatrice. Thank you, you so get it? For our house. <coughs> oh, Excuse that me. Horrible that horrible bear. That horrible bear. I offer you a luscious honeycomb for my house. Please feel free to retrieve one. I promise my bees won't harm you. It may come in handy on your travel. Uh, why would that come in handy on my travel? Like it does, but how the heck would they know that? Graham bends down and picks up the large stick from the ground. Okay, two seconds, I'll be right back. Graham reaches a hand into the beehive and retrieves a very sticky chunk of honeycomb. Wrapping it in a protective piece of cloth, he then pockets it. He then pockets it. A bit rough around the edges there. A bully of a dog terrorizes the poor ant a as he bully plays with of a dog. and their large anthill. 
Um, this is kind of boring. I'm just gonna lower the detail so that he can just like go on fast. Mm -hmm. Hmm, that doesn't seem to have actually done anything. Whatever, I was always used to him walking fast or whatever. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that did literally nothing. Oh well. Choking sands are taking their toll on Graham. He must drink, and soon. You're right, he must. I, I, think I found this excellent, you know, water hole like next screen just before Graham dies. Nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. They got rid of the uh, Nectar of the Gods line for the NES version because, um, dumb reasons. Because, uh, it's struck of paganism. From across the desert sands, Graham can hear the sound of approaching hoofbeat. I know, right? How dare they add paganism? Good thing they can't see me. Mm -hmm. Open sesame! Hmm, very interesting. Okay, now I'm uh, gonna fall. Oh, so thirsty. Not even a single palm tree. Oh, oh, those buzzards. They'll show me the way. The hot sun and choking sands are taking their toll on Graham. Yeah, well. He must drink. Oh, do you have the hint book? What? With, do you have the hint book with the map? Um, no, I memorized it. Ah, well done. Ah, life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. It was like, I memorized the um, route that I take. Mm hmm I see. Well done. Maybe save your game at some point, though. I'll save it before going into the tent, since I do not want to accidentally wake the guy up. Yeah. Well. Okay, so I cannot go into the big tent, because it's full of... Yeah, you'll die. Small tent is okay. Good night. Yoink. Oh boy. Because if I touch him whilst uh, going to the back, then I'm a goner. Drink some water. Ah, 
life-giving water. Nectar, Nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. Paganism! Disturbing the horses would be very unwise at this time. I'm gonna do it anyway. Holding his nose against the drunken bandit's pungent odor, Graham quickly searches him, but doesn't find anything of importance. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. And I survived that? Okay, well, you know, miracles do happen. Don't mind if I do. <clears throat> ah, life-giving water. Nectar, Nectar of the, the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. Or maybe it's all the cocaine. What? Never mind. What? Oh, what did you just say? Never mind. That's what I thought. Oh, hello, Perhaps dead person. That's what we'll stop. Graham reaches down and removes the old shoe from the desert sand. Perhaps once we are done with the desert, we shall stop? Sure. What? What's up? Well, you could also see the gypsies first. I suppose. That's, That's racist. I know it, but it's in the game, so... I'm not really meaning... I don't mean anything offensive by saying that. The hot... Oh, no, the hot sun. Remember, take all the treasure you can. Open sesame! Aw, oh, oh, no. man. Oh, no. They must put some sort of, like, mine? element of drama into this. Graham grabs the old brass bottle. Also mine. Now take the rest. Aw. That was close. That was close. Also, I'm thirsty. Graham is thirsty. Drink, Graham, drink. Ah, life-giving water. Nectar, Nectar of the, the gods. gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat's feeling actually a lot better now. Oh, that's good. Maybe it was the COVID test. I kind of doubt it was the COVID test. Yeah, I do too. I made it. Sure. Don't worry about me, Cedric. I'm used to this kind of thing. You would have said that if I had been gone for two hours. Mm -hmm. Or two minutes. Uh... Now let's uh, go over to Matamushka. Matamushka. It will cost you one gold coin to see Matamushka. No. Oh, come on, no, I want to in this seat. Aw, oh, too bad. You may see Madame Mushka now. You don't even need to make an appointment. Yeah, I'm joking. No, watch it. Following cartoon contains adult material. I'm so glad that you can skip in this version. I don't like skipping. You are here to see Madame Mushka, no? Well, come closer. This 
I see you are a pizza delivery boy. Look, Mananin, look what I have for you. Take a good look at what you did to my brother, Alexander. Because of you, he's doomed to spend the rest of his days as a cat. Remember King's Quest 3, guys? Hey! This follows earlier events. You need to trim your nails. Oh, Slayer's fault, not mine. <laughs> He's lying. Like, he, it was no accident. Then I'll eat the cat. <laughs> Save your game and open the bottle. And we're done. Save your game and open the bottle, then in the end. Oh, yeah, yeah, just for fun. Just for fun. Hey. Well. Ha ha. That, that, keeping things bottled up inside was what I should have done. Mm -hmm. Okay, the end. All right, everyone. Yeah. We had fun bye, playing bye. King's Quest V. So far, my score is 43 out of 260. Well done. It's off to a good start. Up until the ending, it's impossible to lose points. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.